So that's another day that went by very fast. Well, a lot of stuff done, but again, um, very crammed up with uh, everything that needed, needed to be done. Overall, it's, it's getting, it's not stressful for the, the party to make sure that uh, everything is set up and everything is in line, but there's a lot to do. So I definitely feel the pressure, but it's not, not, not necessarily the stress, which is interesting. Um, we'll see how it, how it will go on, on the day when it happens. So if the, the pressure will turn to stress, then I don't know, maybe, maybe not. But so far, the, the pressure is there, but it's, um, it's still bearable. So this is the last um, episode for the, uh, the, the three parts series for my wife, uh, the discussion about the tools. So this part talks about the secondhand tools or used used stuff that can still be very interesting to buy or to look for. So here's the th the third and last part. You can always resell stuff. We we keep forgetting, but um, there's a huge market for secondhand tools. You know, I could perfectly fine perfectly fine sell that KitchenAid because it's got a. A great rating and it's still in in great condition I could sell it I'm going to give it my to my daughter because she will be able to buy one for herself but it's the kind of tool that you can resell cameras cameras they do resell everything can be sold to someone and and at the same time you can yourself buy used stuff find the tool you need and buy it second hand there's nothing wrong with that if you can't afford to buy it new like we are right now and like we did for the cars like we did for the cars i'm not buying a car that's new you have to think when it comes to money and and stuff you have to think because it's it's really cool to be able to tell people hey it's new it's brand new it's a 2019 prius yeah but when I tell people, well, it's a 2013, it had 86,000 kilos on it, but I paid it X amount of money versus what I would have bought a new car. And I'm like, I saved a ton of money and they refurbished it. They just took the car and they, they checked it out and you maintain it and it's going to stay new for a long time. If anything, go on Facebook and um, find groups about your interests. Example, sewing. There's a lot of sewing groups out there. You ask the question, I've got this used. I could get this model used. Is it good? Did you ever work with that one? Look at ratings, look at reviews, not just online. Go on, on specific forums and groups for it, for your interest and ask ask around and be patient and wait for it says the girl who just bought something completely new but we did look at reviews and it was on discount that's pretty much it yeah yeah Here it is so that's what it is for today we'll see how tomorrow will be there's a still a ton to do a ton of stuff to do a lot of um slideshows to prepare videos to prepare and some speeches and whatnot and yeah they're a lot of work a lot of work I still got uh, work for my company to do as well uh, because I need for taxes and whatnot so there's a lot to do just this week this week is crammed with stuff so for now that's it for me today till tomorrow ciao